I'm back in Uzipus with um, Algi Mentos, um, uh, who I, I can't even pronounce his surname. Will you please pronounce your surname? Gemaitaitis. Uh, okay. Uh, now, this, uh, tell me about your early life before the Russians came in 1944. Okay, speak up. And I, I, was, I was born in one small province town in Lithuania, Kudirkos Naumestis, where I attended grammar school until the Soviets came in 1940. Uh, 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 towards the end of 1940, my father was forewarned that we are going to be sent, we were on the list to be sent to Siberia. Okay. The gentleman who warned us, I don't remember his name, but I hope Jewish, to find out, he was Jewish, yes. yes, yes. And, and your father was very friendly with the Jewish community. Uh, with the Jewish community, uh, since it's a small town, you know, the, the, the intellectuals or whatever you call, there was a small group. The intelligentsia. Intel intelligentsia, yes. So they took photographs, they had little parties, you know, and whatever else. Uh, so uh, my father talked to the judge uh, at the court <laughs> and he said, why don't you take a, a, a family vacation, and which was strictly to escape from Kudirkos now, Mistis, and fortunately, uh, uh, it's a week before the war started, in um, uh, July, July uh, 15th, I believe, in 1941, uh, we were living uh, in an even smaller little town. Even there, there, they had already found us. And that night, when the war started, they were they were coming us to take us to Siberia already. Oh. Yeah. So I managed to, my family managed to escape, you know, the fate for, of a whole lot of Lithuanians. But you were in a detention camp, you said. No, no, we were not. Yeah. Uh, 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 then when the Soviets were coming, as the Germans were losing the Second World War in 1944, uh, instead of staying under the Soviets, we escaped into uh, Prussia or Germany at that time. And uh, for a while we were um, uh, just simply refugees. Uh, we were caught in Pomerania. Uh, in Pomerania, uh, uh, we didn't manage to escape across the Oder River. And we stayed under the Soviets. And uh, towards the end of uh, 45, they were looking for us already to take us back to Lithuania or to Siberia, I don't you know. You were on the wanted list. Yeah, we definitely. Yeah, yeah. So my father managed to find a very nice lady uh, who was nicely bribed. And we got, uh, she organized for us that we were German because the Germans from that part of Germany were being it taken to Western Germany, to British zone. And so we, under German, uh, pretending that we were Germans, I was the only one who spoke any German. Okay. And uh, my father stayed behind because he was afraid to go together because he would have questioned and and uh, they would have they would have found out, you know, that we were not German. And. Um, uh, later he escaped the same route uh, to the uh, British zone, to, to Lübeck. Oh, Lübeck, I've been there. Yes, yes to yes. Lübeck, yes. where I attended a Lithuanian high school. Okay, okay. In, um, uh, How many years did you stay in Lübeck? Uh, in Lübeck only for a year and a half, and then our high school was transferred to Neustadt, uh, a small, a small a German town, U-boat town, town okay. where. Uh, anyway, in four, by four, 1949, my father was corresponding already with his brother and two sisters in the United States in Connecticut, who prepared the documents. And so you were sponsors. Uh, sponsors, and we went to 
to the United States in 1949 in August. And you were 12? I was, uh, no, at that time I was already uh, 17. Oh, 17. Se okay. 17, yes. Okay. Um, and but you didn't speak any English? Uh, I had one year of English. Okay. And when, I, when we came to the to, to United States for a while, I worked in a factory, in a mattress factory. <laughs> And then I was taken to uh, uh, United States Army. I served for two years in the United States Army during the Korean conflict. Oh my God! Fortunately, yes. I was not sent to the war. I was sent to uh, what, what was called military intelligence group. <laughs> and um, there were a whole lot of foreigners like me, you know, who... And unfortunately, instead of teaching us English, they were teaching us how to speak Lithuanian, Ukrainian, and all of the languages. It, it was international. <laughs> you had a good time, in, in other words. Instead of teaching us English, you know, they were yeah, teaching yeah. our own nat national languages, which we knew. But yeah, 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 uh, yeah. Anyway, so when I came out, out of the uh, army, I went to University of Connecticut, where I studied theater. Oh, yes. I studied theater. For a while, I worked in New York uh, professionally. Uh, unfortunately, I uh, never managed uh, to reach Broadway, some of Broadway productions, and in, in some productions that reached uh, 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 some of the Jewish communities in, in, in New York. Well, there were lots of Yiddish theaters uh, there. Uh, yes. Uh, uh, Yiddish newspapers. Yes, yes. What year would that be? Uh, that was uh, uh, 1960, uh, 1960, 61, 62, in that. Uh, uh, that's that, a very that, cultural time, isn't yes, it, in yes, New York? Yes, yes, uh, yes. We're going to have to end there because yes, go uh, ahead. Uh, and we'll do part two in a minute, okay? All right.